All right, let's talk about the new heavy hitter in AI image editing from NVIDIA, called ChronoEdit. NVIDIA is framing it as a model that can perform temporal reasoning. In simple terms, it thinks like a video model to understand how an image should change, making the edits physically consistent and believable. We're talking about a massive 14 billion parameter model that, according to their research, surpasses state-of-the-art baselines. On the Image Edit benchmark, Chrono Edit 14B scored the highest overall at 4.42, outperforming other major open source models like Flux Context and Quen Image Edit. But enough with the numbers, let's get to the main event and see what this thing can actually do. The examples they've provided are pretty remarkable. First up, look at this image of a knight. The prompt is simple change to a full side view. The result is a perfect side view, but here's the crazy part. The NVIDIA logo on the shield he's holding is rendered perfectly from the new angle. That shows a deep understanding of the object in 3D space. I don't see any flaws in it. Next, a more creative one. Here's a picture of a cat, and the prompt is, transform to a high-end PVC scale figure. You can see the result, and while it definitely tried to create that figure-like texture, it doesn't quite look like PVC to me. It still appears a bit too realistic, which suggests that style transfer might be an area where it's not absolutely perfect, but the structural edit is solid. After that, check this one out. It's an art-style image of a woman. The prompt given is, the girl is playing a guitar. In the after image, the consistency is just incredible. It's the same girl, same distinct art style, everything is identical, but now she's holding a guitar. There are no weird, out-of-place changes. Then, here's one of the most interesting parts. You can feed it a simple sketch. Look at this doodle of two people in a fighting pose. The prompt is, generate a Japanese black and white anime battle scene based on the sketch structure. The model perfectly converts that simple pencil drawing into a full-blown black and white anime scene, capturing the essence of the pose. Its ability to work from different modalities like this is seriously impressive. The model is also a beast at more functional, precise edits. A simple prompt like remove the glasses from a boy's face is executed flawlessly. Nothing else in the image is altered. Then there's an anime figure of a girl with her back to the camera. The prompt asks to rotate the pose of the girl so that she is facing the camera and look at the result. The background is untouched, the character is the same, but now she's facing forward. It's incredibly coherent. It also shines when adding elements. Given a snowy landscape, the prompt add a person wearing a red winter coat results in not just the person appearing, but also their physically accurate shadow based on the lighting and even tracks in the snow where they've walked. This shows the model isn't just pasting things in, it's intelligently integrating them into the scene. And there are many more examples. It can take an indoor photo and extract the edge map, generating it in a very impressive manner. Or take this boy in a casual winter outfit. With the prompt, change the image into a professional portrait, it keeps his face and hairstyle exactly the same, but completely changes his clothes to a suit and the background to an office setting. Look at this one with blue and yellow paint. The prompt asks to swirl the blue and yellow paint together to create a green color while a paintbrush dips into the new mixture. And it does exactly that, showing the mixed paint, the resulting green color, and even a hand holding a paintbrush. It can also do the reverse, taking an edge map of a girl and generating a full anime-style image that follows the lines perfectly. It maintains artistic consistency, like taking a painting of a man and seamlessly editing him to be fishing by a lake. It handles backgrounds beautifully, changing the scene behind a bird on a branch to a stunning sunset sky. And for extreme precision, look at this dress on a mannequin. The prompt, change the surface texture to a smooth metallic finish, is applied only to the coat, leaving the tie and shirt underneath untouched. But here's where Chrono Edit really stands apart, the temporal reasoning visualization. Because it's fundamentally a video model, it can show you its thought process. Instead of just giving you the final edited image, it can generate the in-between frames, showing a plausible video transition of the edit. For example, with the knight, the prompt make the knight kneel on his right knee generates a short video of the knight performing the action. When asked to add a cat sitting on the bench, the generated video shows a bench suddenly appearing and then a cat emerging from the corner to hop on. It reveals the entire process. It can restore a broken statue by showing the missing head and arms reforming 
or transform a night scene today by showing sunlight pouring in through the windows like a realistic time-lapse. We can even see the video of the paint mixing. This isn't just image editing, it's a form of world simulation. And look at this teacup. A prompt to add a mouse taking a bath results in a video of the mouse popping up from inside the cup, or a robot holding a basketball. The prompt, throw the basketball into the net, generates a video of the robot making the shot. This is incredibly precise. This capability is especially powerful for physical AI-related tasks. Showing a robot in a kitchen and prompting it to pick up the dragon fruit results in the final image where it's holding the fruit. Prompting it to pick up the purple rag with the robot arm does the same. This makes it an amazing tool for robotics learning and visualization. It also handles sequential edits like a champ. You can perform one edit, then give another prompt for a second, and so on. For instance, you start with a robot in a kitchen. Prompt 1. Change to a confident pose. Done. Prompt 2. Pick up the dragon fruit. Now the confidently posed robot is holding the fruit. Prompt 3. The robot is driving the car. And there it is, the same robot now sitting in the driver's seat. The same goes for the cat. Start with the reference image. Prompt 1. A cat stands with a front paw raised. It does that perfectly. Prompt 2. The cat speaks chrono. Now its mouth is open with a chrono speech bubble. Prompt 3. Transform to a high-end PVC scale figure. Here again, you can see its weakness with style transfer, as the result still looks more realistic than like a plastic figure. So, let's get to my own testing because the official examples are always cherry-picked. NVIDIA has a demo on Hugging Face, but it's important to state this is the 8-step distilled LoRa model. It's a much faster, lighter version designed for consumer GPUs, not the full 14B reasoning model. I started with my classic, tough test, generate the back view of the person in this photo, and this model failed too. It turned the person's torso around, but if you look closely, the shoes are still facing forward and the legs are in the same position. It only changed the upper half. Next, I uploaded a picture of my model with the prompt, put her in a mid-air jump celebrating pose. And this result was quite impressive. You can see it's a genuine jumping pose with slight realistic changes to the dress as you expect from the motion. Her body and the balloons have moved slightly upwards. Most importantly, the facial similarity is very, very good. So, a solid pass on that one. So, it can handle a full body post change, but what about something more subtle like a facial expression? I decided to dial in on the face. The prompt was simple, give the person an angry expression. And check this out, it actually nailed it. You can see it's a genuinely angry look, and critically, nothing else in the image changed. The model isolated the face and altered the expression perfectly. So, on that front, I was satisfied. Next, I wanted to push its character generation. The prompt is, she's having fun with Elon Musk. Now, you can't upload a second face, so this was a pure text-to-person test, and the result is interesting. It added a second person, but that is definitely not Elon Musk. It's just some random guy. That said, it did capture the having fun vibe. They're laughing, looking at each other, holding a ball. So it can add another person to a scene, but it looks like generating specific celebrities is off the table. Okay, how about another simple facial instruction? Make the person wink. And here it fumbles. You can see in the result, both of her eyes are closed. A wink uses one eye, not two. So that is a clear fail. The model just couldn't grasp that specific nuance. I was curious about its text capabilities, so I gave it this image that says good vibes only. The instruction was to change it to bad sides only. And the result is a complete mess. Look at this. It changed good to bad, adding an extra A for some reason, and it didn't even touch the word vibes. So yeah, when it comes to editing text, this model is not the one. Finally, I tried the sketch to image task with their own example doodle. With their default prompt for a Japanese anime style, the result was okay. It's a good anime style generation, but the poses don't exactly match the sketch. The leg positions and stances are different. Then I tried my own prompt, convert this image into a photorealistic image where a man and a woman are fighting in the same pose. The result was photorealistic, but again, the pose was only somewhat similar, not a direct match. The same happened when I tried to generate a 3D version. It's an acceptable generation, but not excellent. My initial impression is that this distilled model is a bit underwhelming and doesn't live up to the hype of the full version. So, how does it pull all this off? The core idea is to reframe image editing as a two-frame video generation problem. 
ChronoEdit takes the original image as the first frame and the intended edited image as the last. This lets it leverage powerful pre-trained video models that have an implicit understanding of physics and motion. To make the edits more believable, it uses what the paper calls temporal reasoning tokens. During the editing process, the model essentially imagines the intermediate steps or frames between the start and end images. These reasoning tokens act as a guide, planning how the edit should unfold to ensure the transformation is physically plausible instead of just an abrupt change. For efficiency, it only does this intensive reasoning for the first few steps of the generation to establish the global structure of the edit. So, what's the final verdict? My takeaway is that this publicly available distilled model has some serious limitations. It's not the magic tool that cherry-picked examples from the full version suggest. It feels like a standard generative model, not one with advanced reasoning. The real power is likely locked away in that massive 14 billion parameter model, but good luck running that. You'll need a commercial-grade GPU, probably with a minimum of 40 gigs of VRAM just to get it running slowly. For the kind of performance they show, you're looking at an 80-gig card. This distilled LoRa version will run on a 24-gig card like a 4090, but as we've seen, the results are a mixed bag. Of course, you can try it from yourself. I'll drop all the links to their Hugging Face page and the GitHub repo in the description below. If you've got a 4090, you can test out the quantized version and see what you get. Anyway, I hope you liked this deep dive. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.